Hey folks, how you doing? Well, we are, we just got a full professional day of work completed. So now I get to come home and be unprofessional. <laughs> uh, anyhow, you know, yesterday when we pulled those A-frames off, I noticed, as did some of you, based on your comments, that when I disconnected the drive shafts, the, uh, the yokes were real sloppy. Right, the output shafts coming out of that differential. So, we're going to drop the differential. What does that mean? That means we got to pull the the, uh, the long, you know, 44 inch freaking drive shaft, or however long it is, and uh, get that out of the way. And then I think there's only three or four bolts holding that differential up. So, we're going to crawl into there. Get that uh, uh, removed and we're going to drop that differential so I may as well film the thing right so you can see what I'm doing and uh, yeah we'll go we'll go from there hang tight let me reposition the camera all right we're coming at you from underneath the belly of the beast and uh, Geez, that wasn't even tight. Hence more opportunities for vibration and whatnot. I'm gonna tell you something, man. And these things here, I don't have nothing to get in here to grease these bad boys, so we get this shaft out of the way. We'll make sure we give it a good greasing while it's on the ground, you know what I mean? Voila. We got three nuts up here. All right, we're gonna get the uh, jack up under here. I don't have a clue how heavy this thing is. Screwed up my camera angle, right? That's okay. So, I'll tell you what, there's one thing I do appreciate is that, uh, what size is this? It's 11 sixteenths, all right? I've used 11 sixteenths for all the mounts, right, that hold the A-frames on. These are 11 sixteenths. Um, and the, uh, the bushings, castle nuts for the bushings. So, I'm kind of digging that. Now, is that coming loose or is that actually just spinning? Because I don't know what's behind there. That's what I thought. So, it is a nut and bolt situation. I'm going to get a wrench back up in there. All right, we got a hidden, a hidden bolt. Shock's got some tension on it, man. That's really no easy way, no hidden way. What the hell? Let's try this. See, as many of you know, if you're a mechanic, you gotta work blindly. 
got that wrench up on there. Just barely. I got barely on there. That'll prove interesting when we go to put it back together. Right? Let's see if that's all it took. wasn't so bad. Shoot. Of course, dropping the damn thing isn't preferred either. Check out the end play. like an awful lot to me. This side's nice and snug. Cool. We'll get these bad boys off and replace these seals too. Sloppy end play. These things are like 65 to 70 foot pounds of torque. Um, it'll be interesting to open this up and see what's going on. I don't think I'm going to break this seal. But I am going to pull this out. And I believe that these seals come as a kit along with sleeves for these output shafts. And uh, same business for these. So, yeah. We'll clean her up. See what's going on. Well, that was pretty simple and interesting. 
So, oh, well, we gotta wait till payday anyways before I can order parts. So, we'll just be in cleanup mode and, you know, continue doing other things. I feel like Mr. Rogers right now getting ready to take my shoes off. Hey, boys and girls. All right, people, have a wonderful evening. That's how you get a differential out. Have a wonderful military vehicle maintenance kind of day.